What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy D Dyson. So, I didn't want to make this this you know this video, this review video. Just kind of wanted to wait so people had a chance to kind of catch up on mines. I know there's been a lot of good TV shows out there lately, and I know some of them are coming to a end for their season. But I just want to say Mayans season two was nothing short of phenomenal. Like, it kept me on edge every single episode to understand furthering what is going on within the Mayans MC. And season one, you left off with Easy um, still, you know, trying to be in limbo. If he's going to be a prospect, you know, Angel, him and Angel was really button heads at the end of the season. And then Padrino has become... Galindo's, um, like, head honcho, like, you know, confidant, everything as far as working for the cartel. So you leave off on that, and then you come into season two, and just just wanted to let you guys know this is full of spoilers. That's why I love my reviews. It is full of spoilers. So season two starts off with, you know, having Easy, you know, back into the fold of the Mayans, still doing all this work with the Mayans. He's introducing Easy in the tenfold. He still beefed out with Angel, but he later on goes into depth about what happened to Easy and Angel's mom. So he gets that information and he starts digging deep. I'm like digging deep to where he finds Smiley from Sons of Anarchy and understanding that it was, he just had to further dig in deep. So when he finally tells Angel, like, yeah, you know, I did find the uh, mom's killer. He was contracted by the cartel. We got to go see him. So they end up going to Smiley's house. And I love that episode because Smiley ain't talking. That dude, you could tell like this dude was just a trained assassin. And then when they're about to kill the dog, you know, Smiley then starts talking. Like, man, don't, don't, he just hungry. Like, that's why he barking. And that lets you know right then and there. I'm like, yeah, they're about to find out who, you know, did what. And then he really found out that, you know, it was way, way deeper than that. And I love that plot because I wanted to figure out, you know, what all led to these events that we're all watching. You know what I'm saying? As far as Easy going to jail, you know, him and uh, Emily was together. Whose baby is that? So that's why I was kind of like, they didn't really uh, put the baby up like this much in this season as it did in season one. But I still want to play into further of, is that Easy's baby or is that Miguel's baby? So I still want to know what's going to transpire with that but i still loved how they tied it all together it was just mayans um and just the little things that the the mayans mc had to go through you know what i'm saying as far as with coco you know dealing with his daughter and trying to be there for his daughter and then finds out that she comes home one day all bruised up find out who did this and it was uh forgive me if i'm wrong it was like the vatos uh, when they, when they go to war with the Vatos, uh, don't really know that. I forgot the name, like Vatos. That's when it kind of all transpires from that. And then you go through the story of Galindo and Adelita. And that was kind of like a huge, um, plot because you start seeing that, you know, Adelita is pregnant, but you don't really know who the baby daddy is. And then it turns out, yeah, it's Angel. So I'm like, damn, like, so Angel is the one who got her pregnant. Um, Adelita has called the truce between Adelita and Galindo, and they just started working together. Although Galindo has to work with Potter because, you know, Jose got uh, Galindo, which is uh, Miguel's dad, had to work with the uh, feds as well just to kind of keep their empire. So it was just like, so understanding that he, you know, Galindo is in a position where he has to play both sides. It just comes, you know, a part of the game. You just have to outsmart you know, one side to help the other side. So he was helping Adelita for the most part until, you know, Potter has sent in the, uh, I, I think it was like the CIA ops team, like to go find Adelita and then, you know, get a tip. Adelita is like, you know what, just take me because, you know, I don't want nobody else to get hurt. So, but knew full well how all that transpired. And you could tell Potter's hand and this season, it's like, yeah, dude, you 
they're going to start digging a lot about you to where they're going to get, they're going to start going into you because you're doing a lot. You're doing too much. And then the fact that, you know, Adelita is like a revolutionary in Mexico is just that, yeah, he's he's stirring the pot. So I like that, that aspect and just how Galindo is just, kind of was really following into Adelita and seeing how she is just as a leader. And he wants that, you know what I'm saying? He wants that because, you know, Miguel is that one type of, you know, guy where he wasn't surrounded by the cartel side his whole life. I mean, he went to school, did everything he was supposed to. So now it's pretty much new to him. And Adelita comes from a part where she's just, you know, full on, this is how it is. This is how it's going to be. And I can see why so many people really like Adelita. And then the fact that while that pot is brewing, Emily is, you know, I feel like they didn't have a lot to do with Emily this year. So, I mean, the season, so they didn't know what plot she can play in. But she had to, uh, her goal was to uh, help the Galindo cartel uh, do business legitimately. And she still has some tactics to find legitimately. And that goes down you know, a rabbit hole, and then he ends up talking back to Easy. So when Easy is already going through, digging in deep to what happened to his mom, you know, he's finding out certain details like, hey, look into this. So he goes to Emily like, hey, you know, I think that someone, uh, Miguel had my mom killed. So she was like, you know, Miguel wouldn't do that. You know, he's, you know, pretty much he's a good dude. He ain't, he ain't with all that. So she starts digging in deep into the family records about what's going on and what happened. And then meanwhile, Dita is going through her little therapy, her little thing. It's like she's just real distant from everybody. So, you know, she's sneaking off. She's doing these couple of things. And then you start seeing like, why is she meeting up with Easy's dad all the time? You know what I'm saying? So that's why I kept thinking, I'm like, oh, snap. Like when they started meeting up the second, third time, I was like, yeah, he, he did something to where he was with her for a little minute and... And it just goes into that that aspect of like, yeah, she's crazy as shit. Like, he was with her, you know. And then I just knew for the fact that she was going to say Miguel Galindo is, was Easy's dad. And I just knew that I was like, yeah, so you saying that Easy, Angel, and Miguel, they're all brothers. That's crazy. And now Emily goes from Easy to Miguel, to the brother. That's crazy. So that's why I was like, yeah. Uh, this is going to get real, real good. And I feel like somebody's going to not survive because of this. So when you get that fact that you find out Miguel is Easy's dad's child, then I'm just like, yeah, Dita's not going to keep this a secret. You know what I'm saying? So when Emily finds out what's going on, Easy find out what's going on. Then it's like, yeah, I'm seeing the Dita was the one to kill my mom. She was sending off these these contract uh, put money on their head to get them because it was like, yeah, I found out, you know, and then it, later on it explains the whole thing. And that's why Easy's dad was just like, man, I am so sorry this happened, you know, from my past transgressions. So basically when he found out because Emily came into that, that shop and was like, man, just want to let you know, that was the one that was signing off these, these checks to pay for a contract kill on your wife and you too. Like she was trying to get you too. So he tried, he had to play it off in front of Emily, like, man, you know, but you could tell it hurt him so bad. And that's when we kind of found out that I was like, damn, like they dead, um, which was a federale for the cartel. Like he was a federale back then, you know, federal agent. And then he he just got in bed with the cartel figuratively and literally. Like he just was in it with the cartel and he was just, you know, as a kind of like a, a a a security guard for the cartel. You know what I'm saying? And that's when he ended up being with Tita. And that's when things got bad. He was like, I'm out. And he went to America, fled America, and changed his name to Felipe Reyes, you know, with his wife, and then had Easy and Angel. So that's why, and after that had happened. They found where he was and then set up shot where, where he was. And then when she saw him, she was like, damn, you know, this is where you were. This is where you went. And I was like, man. So ever since then, that's what happened. So that's why I was like, yeah, that's going to be some serious implications in season three. Of uh, Yeah, that I love to see that story of how, you know, all that transpires and then just so much secrecy of Emily not really talking. Miguel's is busy when Adelita got kidnapped. 
uh, or, or taken by Potter. So Miguel is just fraught with all kinds of grief and just not really understanding. He just has no more control. Like he doesn't know what to do. So, you know, Emily's not talking to him. Dita's is going off on the wire. Everybody's not trusting each other within the Galindo household. And Miguel just knows that, you know, the Reyes family has something to do with this. So he sends Padrino to go talk to Easy, And Easy's like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, all right, I'm going to find out. You know, and then that's why I said, I'm like, that, that season finale was man. And then you just push it forward to the Mayans get into it with the Vatos Malitos. And then that's why I'm just like, oh man, it, it, it kind of felt like it was a small nothing. Then when the Suns came up with, hey, you know, we're going to start running guns again. We know it's against Jax, but you know, this is what Teller would have wanted to make sure that we all make money. So you had to sit down with the Vatos Malitos and the Mayans and the Suns to get the, the guns from Mexico, bring it up to the Suns. So they were working out that, that trade agreement because of what happened to Coco's daughter. The Mayans had reacted and then it was like, man, yeah, the Vatos Malitos is, is down by the border disrespecting Mayans. Like, man, we don't care who territory this is. We gonna go out to war. So, you know, the Mayans reacted and when they get to that meeting, it's like, man, the sons come through. It's like, I assured that, you know, ain't no bad blood. We good. Let's talk it out. And then they get to that meeting. It's just trading off disrespect. And it's like, man, I don't, I don't like the way this is. But even the son is like, fuck that. No, we're going to make this money. And they end up making the money. They make the deal. It's like, okay, cool. At the end, kind of like the after party, the mines are still there. Vatos Malitos come through and just just start shooting. Just, you know, like just an uh, all-out ambush, lay them down. And I'm just like, damn. So Riz gets end up getting shot and it's really like a, a life-threatening injury. And they throw like a flashbang grenade and Coco ends up being blind in one eye. So you already know Coco is like, man, uh-uh, this ain't going down. We got to get him. We got to make sure we get him. And that just turns out to an all-out war. And then you, the next episode, you get into how Tarza goes to the hospital. You know, Riz is probably going to pull through, but, you know, not really sure. And then he just... He kills his Riz, you know what I'm saying? We kind of like, yeah, this is going to be some implications later on down the road when they're going to be like, man, Taza did some shit. That was some shady shit to kill Riz. But, you know, and and it, it just infuriates Bishop. Bishop's like, man, nah, you kill Riz, we're going to war. So that leads up to the season finale where they go into that party, you know, because they sit down it's like, man, we're going to do this deal sit down with him. I don't want, you know, my, my bishop is kind of like making that decision. Like, we got to make this deal, though. Like, you know, although we, we come in form, but we still got to make that deal. Come out there, and then when they make that deal, they come back that night. I just love at the towards the end, they're sealing up what happened from season one because I kept telling myself, I'm like, how is Easy putting in all this work and he's not uh, a Mayan yet? So we finally get what we were kind of wanting at the end, it was like, yeah, Easy is officially a Mayan. You know what I'm saying? And I was just kind of like, man, congratulations, goddamn lace. I feel like I was in there with them, like, congratulations. You officially are a Mayan. You're part of the MC. I love every bit of it. You know what I'm saying? I just love how they just did it, too. Like, angels, like, man, nah, you ain't going to, you know, they got to talk to you. I don't think you made it. You know, come in. And then I was just like, you know what I'm saying? I just, you just felt like you was there with them. Like, man, just like, damn, you, you put enough work in to become in the MC. And I love that. And then they go to the party and they shoot the party up. All these, you know, vatos malitos, but you don't get the head honcho of the motorcycle club. And in the wake of everything, you, I'm talking about you laid a whole party down. Women, dudes, everybody. You trying to get the dude and his grandmother, he escapes out the back, leaves. And then you find out that you killed one of the sons of anarchy uh, uh, guys there. So now you that's some serious implications like, damn, we fucked up. And just a side note, I love the part where Emily gives Easy the information about Potter. And they go up to Potter because Potter is uh, like messing with him, leaning on him, threatening to deport um, their dad. So they finally find an information on Potter sleeping with the witness and hey, he has a whole kid down there. And it's like, so he's kind of like, damn, like you got dirt on me. And the fact that, you know, Potter tried to react, and that's something that you never see 
Potter do is react that way. So I was just like, yeah, this is definitely going to be good. I just love that one particular scene out of this whole season. And, you know, Adelita has a kid being locked up. And I just, you could tell that, you know, Potter gives Angel a call while they're out shooting. And then he just really playing those mind games of, we all know Potter are, is true to do. So that's why I'm like, there's so many different buildups for season three that is going to make it so good. And the fact that they, uh, that Tita gets what's coming to her, but she just did it in some kind of crazy ass way for the Galindo cartel to be on the Reyes family because now Dita is dead. Easy and, and Angel end up torturing her as she, as she wanted it. So that's why I was kind of like, you know, yeah, there's going to be some serious implications for season three. Not sure if uh, Kurt Sutter is still going to be writing and producing for Mayan season three. I, you know, did hear the news that he got fired for some of the shit that he was saying. Who knows? I just hope that he bring him back because I feel like if he's not back, then this show is not going to be what it needs to be if he's not there. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel because he's really capturing the grit, the dirtiness, the craziness of a MC. You know what I'm saying? Still bringing fictional world around it, but he just created this universe that we that we know and love so much, and I hope he comes back. So, if you guys enjoyed my review for Mayans MC Season 2, subscribe to my channel, post comment down below, and like the video. It's your boy, D. Dyson. Peace.